We finally made it after a very epic and long monorail journey to the Contemporary and we're going to go to Contempo Cafe, not Chef Mickey's unfortunately, as much as we would like to. Since there was no chocolate at the Contempo Cafe, we were going to this place. Hopefully they'll have a hot chocolate here. Just got our Joffreys and I pretty much just burned my tongue. <laughs> So it's very hot at the Contemporary Cafe, so don't drink it straight away. Warning. <laughs> How's yours? Mine was lovely. They're very hot, but <laughs> it's really nice I to hold it. I nearly killed myself. <laughs> okay, I got it about five minutes ago and I still can't drink it. I really hope it cools down soon because I really want to warm up. It's so cold. It just seems to be a little cooler. <laughs> Over at the Contemporary in the merchandise shop, they also have food which they must make on site. It looks delicious and those Christmas cupcakes look the best. So we're just looking at the gingerbread house at the Contemporary right now. It's so nice. They've got the fairy godmother and Cinderella and the prince. If you look closely you can see Anna and Elsa kind of hidden there. Here you can see all the ingredients that they use to build the house. They also have a nice glass slipper here, just casually. And like the Grand Floridian, the Contemporary also sells some delicious treats. We've got a delightful cookie, yum! And a gingerbread, oh very cute, very cute. They also have a pin here and a bunch of other merch. They've got like a peppermint sort of decoration and I think a gingerbread house kind of cup. Very nice. Also at the Contemporary is the California Grill and check-in is right there. Have it in there. I would love to though. So we accomplished getting our hot chocolate and going to the gingerbread house and now we're going to go to Epcot for dinner and hopefully ride a ride or two. Okay, we finally got to Epcot. We, we weren't able to take the bus, so we had to take the monorail, and that took forever. Yeah. But we are here now. And Update, still cold. <laughs> still cold. Just in case we haven't said it enough for this vlog, it's still cold. Um, so we're going to get a burger from Flavors from Fire, which we had last year, except it's moved to a different food this time. So we love this burger so much, so we're going to have it again. We're at Flavors from Fire, and we're going to get the Steakhouse Blend Burger like we got last year. They also have a smoked corned beef, a skirt steak, and some sort of chocolate as well. We just got our burgers, and it looks so delicious. We got the meat, and we got the delightful chip. It's going to be good. How are you finding your burger? Is chewing. Oh, what happened? Oh no! I'm just digging into my burger now. Absolutely love it. I love the sauce as well, and the chip really says it all. Really delicious. Get this if you can. For our second course, we're at the donut box, and we're going to get a sweet corn fritter. You can also get donut holes and a strawberry smoothie. We just got our corn fritters. They look delicious, and we also got sauce on the side. The sauce normally comes on top of the fritters, but we thought we'd put it on the side in case we don't like it. How is it? I've just had my first bite. Um, I really like them, but when the, you put them in the sauce, it's a bit sweet. Oh. <laughs> Without the sauce. I wish we had a reaction of your sweet face. That's what the audience wants. <laughs> I also tried it with without the sauce and I agree it's a lot better without the sauce. I don't think it's too sweet. I just don't really like the flavour that much. But by itself, it's very good. There's a lot more like dough compared to corn, but dough's great, so I'll eat it. We're just gonna check out now the Epcot experience, mainly because it's indoors, showing everyone all the new things at Epcot. Here we are at the Epcot experience. Wow! <laughs> Performing for the camera. <laughs> Where the magic of possibility awaits. Just saw the Epcot experience. It is identical to what we saw at D23. So if you've been to D23, don't bother going in. Don't waste your time. Just because I like to be unpredictable, we're going on Frozen Ever After again. It's only a 65 minute wait. It's worth it because it's amazing. See, we've got Kristoff and Sven's portrait. So cute. You'll also see Sven's ice delivery medal. 
Oh my gosh, I love it. I'll be out in a minute. from our epic day at Animal Kingdom slash Epcot slash the Contemporary. It's the coldest I've ever felt. Agreed? Yeah. So cold. We've got another three days of this cold oh, to go. So cold. I'm not yeah. sure whether I like going to Disney in winter. <laughs> it's not fun. It wasn't fun at times, but that's okay. I, I hope it's warmer tomorrow. Maybe. Wishful thinking on Sky's part. You know, we'll just pray about it, okay? I'll see you guys tomorrow. Like and subscribe for more Disney content. I upload every three days. Bye now.